Mm. You know, mm. if, oh. if men are saying that, you know, they've got the right to rape just because the other person has wear. So, you know, in, in my country, India, they wear sari. But even the women in sari, they get raped or the women in burqa and hijab. But that's not the clothes. A three-year-old child got raped in Kashmir. What was she, what did she do wrong to arouse the sexual desires? So, you know, I that that that's my point that that's not, you know, the clothing or the attire. That's basically the mentality or the mindset. So if somebody is sick, they are sick. I think it's two, like there's two big things here. Like on, on one, on the one hand, it's, it's different levels of awareness, like in, in developing countries where, um, you know, there, there, there can be such a survival mindset where they're just trying to make it from one day to the next. You have yeah. so much fear and, um, so much hate and so much anger and frustration and repression and all this stuff. And this will actually cause us to distort the way that we see the world and it'll actually make us act in, in, in really destructive ways just because we're dealing with so much crap and we're trying to find a way to make sense of the world and sometimes and, and often blame the world but then often take our stuff out on the world as well um, but I think it's also it's like I'm a big believer in self-mastery and self-sovereignty and we shouldn't need anything from the world we can't blame the world for for anything but also we shouldn't really need anything from the world we often like consumerist consumerism is, is is driven by the fact that we if i need if i want to feel happy or if i want to feel satisfied i need to go to mcdonald's and i need to go and buy a happy meal or i need to go and buy um, a, a brand new watch or i need to go and buy a new car and it's like we've lost that that power within us to create and to feel to create those feelings and feel those needs so we're outsourcing all of that and it's like in that we feel completely powerless because we've got no ability to be able to meet those needs within ourselves. We have to completely rely on the outside world. And this is what capitalism, consumerism, um, yeah. you know, all these things have done so that the people are reliant on them to to come begging with their with their hands out. Let but me really it's, yeah. Let me just on that very point, let me throw a, a suggestion out to you and, and get your, your perspectives. So up until i don't know 1986 maybe 1990 um i was born in 1972 and there wasn't the so the it's it's now a mockery of itself a satire the it's not food it's marks and spencer's food but advertising for everything is now pornographic in the way it's presented Am I being ridiculous in that comparison? I don't watch much. T I don't watch much TV or advertising. I I, I don't actually know what you, what you what you mean by that. Please okay, then. Explain that. So okay, all right. Or... Okay, voice. so if you look at any advert for anything, a hamburger, a steak, you know, um, <laughs> legumes. Whatever it might be, they're always photographed with such amazing depth and clarity and gorgeousness, mm. and everything's ah oh, ah oh, ah, oh, and the instant gone. Digital marketing. It is. It <laughs> is. Digital. That's why I started saying, you know, when I put my pictures on, you know, LinkedIn, many people don't even read posts, and I know straight away because you know they comment on my photo, and I'm like, man, I didn't want you to just look at the photo. I wanted you to read the post. But, but you know what? Yeah. The, the selfies are important though. Like, he's, oh, I'm, I'm seeing quite a lot, quite a few more selfies now, and there, it does feel a little bit more personal now. But if you do put a, a photo, like, it, it doesn't. Like, obviously, it, it's better if it has context to, to what's being written about in the post. But it still it put a, puts a face to your name, and people people get to know faces. They don't they don't yeah. get to know brands as much. So I think that there's definitely some value to putting up. The, the, I mean, it might not garner the, the mm. kind of the kind of response that you are hoping for. But I think just from a you know, brand point of view, I don't know if that's not, not the the purpose behind why you're on LinkedIn, but um, from, a, from a personal branding point of view, I think it definitely yeah. makes a big difference. It's extremely important, you know, that there are people who, because of your struggles. So what's very interesting Nidhi, is um, there's a book called The Authority Gap, and it looks at from the age of five, both boys and girls think that boys are more intelligent, and it carries on and basically we condition so in india it's it, i mean you didn't you had a, a a blessed upbringing but nonetheless you would have known your place in the house in the pecking order 